Hey, what's up YouTube family? Hope you're all doing well. Today I'm going to be doing a uh, planet tutorial for you guys. I see a bunch of people ask about it all the time. So I wanted to uh, show how I do it. There's a million different ways it's done, but I'll just show you guys how I like to make them. Alright, so one thing I like to use is bowls. I bought these from Amazon it's just tons of I have tons of different shapes and sizes for them so it works really good for making a bunch of different planets <clears throat> but what I like to do is put it where I want it and then you can take any color and then I just spray around it a little bit and bring it up and then there you'll have your ring to know exactly where you want it and then I add whatever color I want to it. Now, what else I'd like to know before I start is which way my light source is gonna be coming from. So, for this, I want, I want it to be darker in the back and then light up front. And then if I do another planet down here, I'm gonna want it to match this one. So it's gonna be light on up front here and then dark in the back. All right, so first I'm adding a dark blue in the back corner here, because that's gonna be my darkest point. Then a little bit lighter blue. Then the lightest blue up front. Now, since the lightest point is going to be up here, I'm going to add a white. And then a black for the back, because you want that to be your shadow, where the light's not hitting. Okay, now I like to take a plastic bag and just put it over it. There's a lot of different ways people do this as well. All right, now that it's textured, I'm gonna re-add the uh, shading on the back here. Just lightly going over that. And then I'm gonna go over it again up front with the white just at the edge there to kind of give it a, a brighter look. Now I usually like to dry it off before I put the bowl down on top of it because it's gonna leave, if you put it down while it's wet, it's gonna leave markings around the edge and you don't want that. So I'm gonna dry it off your hair real quick. Okay, now I'm gonna apply the lid on top since it's dried. And you wanna make sure when you put it down you're getting, you're getting it evenly spaced with between the light and the dark on the planet. About right there should be good. All right, now I have another bowl here, a small bowl. I'll just put another random planet right here. And again, use whatever color you want to. But you wanna think, like if you're using green, you wanna know where the light source is coming from. So if we want it brighter up front here, you're gonna to wanna to use a lighter green up front and then a darker green towards the back. And then you're gonna to wanna to have a black, black paint on top and then a white up front and then 
you texture it with the bag. Okay, so I'm gonna make another one here with blue. Dark color in the black, back, light up front. Okay, now I'm gonna add the white. black. Now I'm going to texture it again with the bag. You can use all kinds of different stuff though. It doesn't have to be a bag. Okay, the color didn't come through quite as good as I wanted to. If that happens, you can just recode it. Um, but for the sake of time, I'm just going to gonna do this here. Cover it up with white. White at the front. And then... Uh, Add that texture shadowing again in the back. Okay, I want to dry this again quick. Okay, so that's covered, good to go. Now I'm just going to fill this in real quick with just some black and blue for the space background. Now another thing you can do to make the planets look cool is add a uh, outline on the outside of the bowl. So like here I have the lighter blue and you know this is going to be your lighter point. So what I do is I take it and just spray a little bit on the bowl itself like such. What that's going to do is you can see it there a little bit it's going to add a cool outline for the planet and make it look more 3d I'll pick it up here and show you real quick see that it just it adds a cool effect to it to the edge there I really like to do that on most of my planets I'm gonna do the same thing for this little guy here know where the light sides at give it just a little bit there for a cool 3d effect Now I'm just gonna put some stars on here real quick. Okay, now my personal favorite way to do planets Okay, now my personal favorite way to do planets is I take a piece of poster board and then I uh, use a circle cutter, which you can get this on Amazon or I think Walmart or Lowe's should have them. And then you set it here to the size you want and then you just turn it around like such and it will cut your circle perfectly. And I use poster board for it. It's sturdy enough that it it works well for it. And then what I do is, if the poster board's pretty big, I just cut the edges down around here, all the way around, so it fits better on the table, and I can spray it better. But then you wait till this is dry, obviously, and then should be dry enough now for me to put it down. Then you put it on here. wherever you want it at. We'll put it right here in this corner. Now you want to weigh, weigh the edges down so you don't get any spray paint going 
on the outside of the planet, so I always weigh them down with some cans. Now, one thing to think about is light sources again. Since the light source here is up on this side, for this planet down here, you want it to be in the top corner here, meeting this. You want all your light sources to be coming from the same direction. So, I'm gonna start with dark blue again. Put the darkest co color in the corner down here. Then a lighter color up top. Now I'm gonna spray some black down here in the corner. And I'm gonna take a sponge and I use this to texture the planet on these instead of the bag. So see here I'm texturing the, move this so you can see a little better, texturing the uh, planet here. Okay now what I'm going to do is put a little dark blue back over the textured part and then a little light blue back over it for my edge. Okay. And I don't usually add white to these, to, to the outside of this, I usually just when I do plant it this way, I just leave it that way. But uh, you can do whatever you want, obviously. Now I'm gonna just texture that little black in there again. Okay, now you pull this up and boom, you got a nice planet. And again, I just use this circle cutter here. And then it makes the, or it makes all kinds of different shapes and sizes. I love using that thing. Okay, now I smeared this one, I messed it up, but pull that up. There's that planet. And then pull this one up. There's that. We will put one more little planet down here. Start with dark blue in the bottom. Lighter blue up top. Add some shading. Sponge again. And voila, there you go. All right guys, and that's just a quick tutorial on how I make planets. Like I said, there's a million different ways to do it. Um, and right here you can see, see how that's smeared? That's because I picked the uh, bowl up too soon and it wasn't dried enough. So you gotta watch out for that when you're doing it that way. And uh, for these, whenever you lay the uh, poster board on the paper too, you want to make sure it's completely dry in the back here. It's going to pull the texture up. So always make sure it's dry enough whenever uh, you're doing that. So, All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And uh, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.